I'm going to show you how to install GXLab on your uh, Raspberry Pi. Now I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4, uh, the 4 gig version, and we'll need to go to this address here. I'll throw, I'll, <clears throat> I'll throw the link in the description to help you guys find it. But once we get there, we need to scroll down and we're just going to click on number four here. And we can click on download. Now I'm VNC'd into the Pi using the Pi, the browser on the Pi. So once this is downloaded, <clears throat> we can just click on the little up arrow and uh, we're just going to drag it over to the desktop. You can put it wherever you feel, but we're just going to throw it on the desktop. So we can close that out. We don't need that no more. So we can just click on it, highlight it, drag it over to the desktop. So now that we have it on the desktop, we can do a right click and extract here. <clears throat> we can double click on the new folder and we're gonna focus on the demo folder but first, we need to uh, double click on that. We can execute that guy. <clears throat> and if it doesn't work, we need to install a piece of software uh, in order to make this work. So uh, let's do that. We know that it don't work now, so what we need to do is we need to install, let me make this a little bit bigger, so we need to install the following in order to make this work. So if we install the following right here, All right, so now that that's installed, we can try this again. And there we go. So now we have it up and running. So what we can do is we're going to go under the demo folder. And we can just click on whatever one here. And we're going to take the XML file and just click on it to highlight it and we're just going to drag it right over to the window here for the lab and just drop it in and uh, there we go so this program has a lot of different tests that you can do to test your Raspberry Pi and everything else in the frames per second and things like that so uh, I'm not going to get into uh, a lot of detail here but I just wanted to show how to install it and how to actually make it uh, work so hopefully this helps out thanks for watching stay tuned for another one and uh, don't forget to hit the like share and subscribe button and when you're done you can just exit out all right, thanks.